Good morning, first grade, and welcome to Bible. I hope that you had a great weekend and you are ready for this wonderful, wonderful week that we have planned together. Um, this video is for Bible for the week. Um, remember, Bible is for two days a week, so you can spread this, um, these fun activities and this lesson out however it works best for you and your family. Um, so no pressure to get it done on one day. Um, if you want to do one thing each day, that's perfectly fine also. So today, I am going to talk to you, um, you should have a packet that looks like this, about the rich fool. And I know you're thinking right now, well, what does that mean and what is that? Well, guess what? We're going to talk about it right now. So um, when we look in our Bibles, today we're, let me back up. Today we're going to talk about the rich fool and then, um, what this teaches us is that Jesus teaches us to focus our lives on Him and not our possessions. And so what the possessions means are things that we have, like our clothes and our toys. And so we need to focus all of our thinkings about Him instead of thinking about what things that we can have and that we can get and that we want more of. We need to be happy what God blesses us with, right? And things that um, make us happy for the long, for our lives, not just for the moment. And so our story is going to talk about that for a little bit. But I'm going to read you right now um, from Luke. If you have your Bible, you can turn with me to Luke chapter 12. If you want to pause the video, you can do that. I'm on Luke chapter 12, verse 13 through 21. Um, if you don't have your Bible, you can just listen. And I'm going to read this to you um, out of the Bible. And then I'm going to read you our story and play a little game too. So let me read this to you first. In the Bible, Luke um, 12, verse 13 through 21. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. Jesus replied, Man who appointed me a judge, the man who appointed me a judge is between you. Then he said to them, Watch out, be on your guard against all things of greed. Life does not consist of abundance of possessions. And he told them this parable. So, instead of reading it from here, I am going to read it from our story too. Um, and it's the exact same story, but this from our packet is a little better or a little easier to understand. It's the exact same story, but just a little different wording um, for us to understand. But before we start our story, I do have some questions to ask you. And so, normally in the classroom we would play a little game with it. So, I'm going to make it a little fun. And... When you hear something, we're going to play um, two corners, and um, or would you rather, or two corners, um, and we're going to play the would you rather game with questions. And so, um, I will tell you if I want you to stand up, or if you want the other one, you would sit down. So, or if you want to pause the video, you have this packet also. You can play it a different way if you want to do like actual two corners, and if you might say this corner is ice cream, and this corner is cake, run know which one you would want. All right. Um, okay. So go ahead and get this paper out. And if not, you can just play with me. Um, so this is the Would You Rather game. And what I'm going to do is I'll tell you to stand up if you want A or sit down if you want B. Stand up if you want A and B. Okay. So would you rather A, so stand up if you want A, buy a new Lego set or B, buy a new bike? Hmm, that's a hard one. So, if you would rather buy a new Lego set, I want you to stand up. If you'd rather have a bike, sit down. Great job. Yeah, that one's tough because I like both. And I know I have some Lego people in my class. All right. Number two. Would you rather go out for dinner or go to a movie? Hmm, that's tough, too. So, if you would rather go out for dinner, stand up. If you'd rather go to a movie, sit down. Number three. Would you rather take a trip to Florida or have a seat if you want to take a trip to Paris? Man, these are tough questions. Hmm. I could see myself in the sunshine, but I also want to see all the cool, you know, sights in Paris too. I don't know. Okay. Number four. Would you rather get a new shirt or get a new hat? Get a new shirt. Stand up. Get a new hat, sit down. So I'm going to do my fingers like this, the way that you should be standing or sitting for which one you choose. Number five, would you rather buy a new house or buy a new car? Hmm. Man, that's tough. 
Number six, ride a roller coaster or go to the beach? Would you rather ride a roller coaster or go to the beach? I'm probably going to stay sitting down for this one. Number six, would you rather go shopping, stand up, or go bowling, sit down? I'm going to go with the shopping, so I have to stand up. Number eight, would you rather mm, eat Chick-fil-A or eat McDonald's? I don't know what kind of person you are here. So eat Chick-fil-A or McDonald's. Number nine, would you rather get money for your birthday or get a toy for your birthday? Mm, that's tough, too. All right. Number 10, would you rather go out for ice cream or go out for cake? I'm definitely an ice cream person. Number 11, would you rather spend your money or save your money? Spend your money, save your money. Would you rather go to a concert or get a new video game? Man, that's tough because I know I have some video gamers, but there's Minecraft people out there. All right, so... Those were our, just our little games. So if you are playing your own game, welcome back to our lesson. Um, and if you are ready to go and you've decided which ones that you would want, then we are ready to start our lesson for today. So all of these things that we were talking about, whether it be shopping or bowling or new toys and saving money, all those things are really fun, right? Yeah, they're actually really fun and they they bring us happiness, but do they bring us true happiness? Do they bring us happiness that will last us a long, long time or a, a lifetime? Probably not, right? They would only just last for the moment. It would bring us happiness for the moment while we're there. And then we leave, we're like, okay, it's done, right? So those things will bring us joy just for a few minutes. So today I want you to hear this story um, about the rich fool, about what matters most in your life. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read that to you. This is the story out of Luke. It says, Jesus was teaching a crowd when someone said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. Jesus replied, Man who made me a judge or problem solver between you. Watch out. Be on your guard against all things of greed. Life is not about getting rich. He told them this parable. One year, the, fi the field of a rich man grew lots of crops. The man didn't know what to do with all of his crops. He didn't have anywhere to store them or put them. Then he decided to tear down all of his barns and build a bigger one where he could store his extra grain. He thought that he could have plenty of grain saved up for many years. He could just live an easy life. He would eat drink and be merry but God said to him you fool this very night your life was demanded from you then then who will get what you have prepared for yourself this is how it will be for whoever stores up things for themselves and not rich towards God Jesus used this story to teach us that our life should not be focused on the possessions and the materials of things a life focused on God and serving others is much more important. And so this is a great reminder for, for even Miss Hanna and for me because sometimes I'm thinking like, oh, if I only had more money, if I only had this, if I only had that. But really, I should be thankful and blessed for all that God has given me. He's given me a wonderful life. He's given me a home to live in. He gives me food that I have each and every day, more food than I can even imagine um, not having. So I should be blessed of all the things that he's already provided and given to me. So I should be happy with all the things that I have my entire life rather than wanting more, wanting more, wanting more, and wanting these things, right? Because my life through God gives me the true long-lasting happiness, not just the things that I have for the moment, not just going shopping, although that's fun, but that's not what I should focus my life on. I should focus my life on God and serving others who don't have as much as I do and the, um, the less fortunate, giving food to them, or if I have extra um, money, donating money to them to help give them um, somewhere to stay, to buy something to keep them warm, um, water and food. So, um, this, this story teaches us, um, 
to focus on God and not the possessions of things that we want or that we have and those material things. So, um, that was just a great reminder and a great little story for all of us to um, just just to remember it as we wake up each and every day to remind ourselves of those things. So, today um, you are able, and are, um, this is one of your posters that I always mention about, to pull this off, color it, um, and hang it up with your other ones, or you can make them into a little book. That way, these are your daily reminders of um, the little stories that God tells us about to help remind us and share His message to other people. All right? Um, after that, you do, on the back, have some sunglasses, a cool little craft. You should have two pairs. Some of you may have hearts. Some of you may have the circle ones. Either one's fine. They're just different frames of glasses. Um, and what I want you to do is I want you um, to draw a picture. And you can put a popsicle stick. That way you can kind of like hold it up on the side. You don't have to. You can just have it just as a fun little thing to do. But I want you um, to draw a picture of things on each on each lens um, that will that you need to focus on. Because we know our glasses, if you wear reading glasses, they help you focus and, and see things clearly. I want you to draw a picture or write words, I did both in mine, about what you should keep your focus on. Not toys and shopping and bowling and video games, right? What does God want us to keep our focus on and what should we keep our focus on? So to give you an example, I colored mine and I'm going to do my other one in just a minute um, for fun. But this is what I drew. So I colored or I drew a cross because that's the first thing that I need to make sure I'm focusing on. Giving, my, giving each day, pulling out a, a set time to give, to give it to God, to get into his word, to learn about him and just to, to grow in my faith. Right? So that's the first thing that I know I need to keep my focus on is Him, our God, right? And the second thing I said was love, to love everyone, strangers. Um, now, that doesn't mean to go out and like talk to strangers, right? But as long as you're with an adult, make sure you're loving on these people. God wants us to love everybody, right? So to love everyone, to give love, right? To share the love of Jesus to other people. And to serve those people. And the next thing I put in that same frame is family. I need to make sure that I'm spending time with all of my family and loving them too. Right? Because that's that's the next thing. That I want to make sure that I'm loving my family. And not just saying, oh, instead, you know, I'm not coming to see you today, mom and dad. I'm going shopping or I'm going with my friends. No, I need to make sure I'm spending time with my family and loving them too. So, I want you to pull out your frames and I want you to draw two or more um, but on the first one draw two things that we should focus our lives on and we learned about the main one in this story today all right um, if you will close and pray with me I'm gonna pray for us and then I'm gonna let you go on with your day all right bow your heads and let us pray dear God we thank you we thank you for today that we are still able to to do our videos and do our virtual learning online, although it's out of our comfort zones, we are adjusting and we know that you have a plan for this, Lord. We know that you are the Almighty God and you are the healer and the provider, so we, we give it to you and we have faith and trust in you that we know that there's a reason for all the things that you do, God. I pray for all the um, friends and family members and people in the world that are sick and that are affected by this coronavirus, that you just heal them, use your healing hands to um, just get this evil thing out of their bodies. Um, Lord, I pray that you just be with us through the rest of our days. Protect us, keep us healthy, keep us safe, and just remind us, Lord, to keep our focus on you and not all on all the other things, Lord. I love you and we praise you in all that we do. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. So I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I will see you next Bible lesson next week. All right. Bye, friends. I love you. Bye-bye.